a long road ahead of him to the major leagues. He wasn't a top draft pick, so he likely won't be on the fast track to the show. Unless, of course, he starts really putting up big numbers in the minor leagues. Still, I know this... MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chattanooga Rookies. Zach Romero comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. In there, strike one. Hard hit ball to second. And he's retired here, one away. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat, maybe even a half heartbeat, considering how fast his heart is beating right now. But he's on it all the way, and he winds up making the play. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Chopped foul right at home plate. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Grounded to third. To his left, Acevedo. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting third, first baseman, John Gomes. John Gomes gets his first cuts now. The bases are empty, and there are two away here in the opening frame. Ball match outside. Knuckleball there, but it dances outside. Ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, no and it's 2-0 and oh now. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Yeah. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. We've played an inning, still nothing. nothing. Ryan Landry will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McNeil waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting fifth, catcher, Derek Tolbert. Derek Tolbert will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. Fastball one, misses no in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Aye. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. And he takes a cold strike, too. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Ken Hawley gets his first chance here, looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Now he reaches out here and just serves this one out behind first. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Matthew Baladares will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Wilson moves over, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Pedro Rios will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Well, when you have a rough day at the plate, it's all about letting it go. You can't dwell on it for too long. And he lays off for ball one. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Huh. 68 miles an hour. I mean, that's barely the speed limit. You don't see pitches that slow too often. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Stepping in, Kyle Benjamin, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. 
Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And when that thing's doing that, forget it. It's one and two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Hey, if you came here to see offense in this ballgame, sit now back and relax just a right little bit. Fielder. Both of these pitches Zach are absolutely Romero. dueling it out right now. Zach ah. Romero is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Joe Crook, Leading as they'll the look to get inning. something going here Second and even this play. game up. Nope. Joe Down and away, Crook. one ball and no strikes. Counts one and oh. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty darn good job against him in this series. And he's retired one away. Now batting. Digging in to try it again, John Gomes. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. But a quick glove at third, and there are two gone. But very quickly. Five pitches and two outs here in the fourth. So those are the kind of innings you love to have if you plan on working deep into a ball game. Ryan Landry is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. At the plate, Derek Colbert as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. The knuckleball giggling at him as it goes by. 1-1. One and 2-1. One. Two, and one. Two out with the man at first. That's going to even up the count at 2-2. Two and two. A shot down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Gets him out in front as this is hit in the air down the right field line. And that'll get down for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Ken Hawley gets a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Grounded to short. Fielded cleanly, and the two-out threat out. will not come to pass as the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Matthew Baladares, and they'll need him to get something going here. Well, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left in this game, so just chip away, chip away. Barely able to make contact, down 0-2 now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Wilson is right there, one down. Now batting. Pedro Rios is Pedro into the box. Rios. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Eight. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Eight. Oh, and that is right there for strike no two. Balls, two strikes. <laughs> I don't know what he's waiting for. That one was even more down the middle than the last one was. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Left fielder, Kyle Benjamin. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Backhanded. Out. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. Five innings complete. The lookouts lead it five to nothing. Zach Romero will stand in to lead things off as the top of this batting order really hasn't been much of a factor so far. That was one of the top three guys in this lineup. No hits between them. And you got to figure you're not going to win too many games when that's the case. Here's the one and one pitch. This is popped high in the air toward the right side of the infield. 
And there's out number one. And I'll tell you, I like the way he's handling himself out there. He's going after guys. He's working ahead in the count. And he's keeping the ball around the plate. All the things you want to see in a young pitcher. Joe Crook comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends One ball, for him. two strikes to count. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Drilled on the ground is short. In time Got to him. first, and there are two away. Now back. Yeah, it's kind of been first one of those days. Run. There haven't been too John. many balls hit hard, oh. and even when they do hit one hard, it's an atom ball. John Gomes will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. Here's the first pitch to him. And this one's one not out. close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Hey. And he fires in a strike one this time one. to make it one ball and one strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. McNeil is in pursuit, and this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Wilson is underneath this one. And he will make the catch, so that'll do it. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. We're through six. Ryan Landry steps into the box as the leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the seventh. Nope. First pitch of the inning misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1-0. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Aye. In for strike two. And this isn't the first guy that's been frozen by that pitch tonight. He's had a lot of guys Back shaking their heads so far. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hit hard towards center. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Swing and a liner. But this is a foul ball. A one pitch on its way. Ball one. Ball one. one ball, one strike. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Shot back up the middle. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Ken Hawley will stand in and maybe a ray of hope as they get the first two men aboard here. And this crowd's just itching for something to put their hands together about. Well, the positive moments, they've been few and Whoa, far between, but they're not out of this game. Now, they've got some guys in this lineup that can make this deficit go away. Three and oh now. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Yeah, he needed that one to avoid loading the bases, but it's still a long road back from here. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Matthew Baladares will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. And he'll just watch this thing to try and get an idea. It's 0-1. Now he bounces a knuckleball up to the plate for a ball. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. Ripped on the ground to first. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Pedro Rios. Pedro Rios. He's at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And, and you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. No ball offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A much better approach here at the plate so far. Now he's not working from behind in the count like he has his first few at bats. And he comes count. back with three, one two. down and in for ball three. Boy, nothing's really come easy for him so far on the mound. He's had to work for everything. And to score is the runner from third. 
The run scores from second. It's now a 5-2 game. And he is in the second base with a two-run double. Well, he'd been able to get that pitch by him earlier in the game. Not this time. He's all over it here, and he's going to bring home a couple on the two-run double. Well, a pretty good offensive show of force in this one. Probably at least a couple of players deserving. But, gentlemen, let's go ahead and give this man the nod as our top player of the game. Yeah, he came through when it mattered. Wound up driving in three runs, and they were important ones as it helped lead him to the victory. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. It's a win for Chattanooga. They come out on top 5-3. to three. Good night, everybody. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Lookouts. Five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left 15 runners on base. For the Shuckers, three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and six minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Jackson Generals and the Chattanooga Lookouts. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Who are you focused on, EK? Well, guys, everybody should be looking out for that guy in the number three spot. He went deep last game, and he seems ready to take advantage of any mistakes he sees right now. Daddy Dick, the Missouri-born right-hander, gets the job of starting pitcher here. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, this will be his second start of the season. In his first start, he already got himself in the win column. He'll be looking to add to that here. 
Now a fastball that's taken one one. close that time, but it's one and one. Down the third baseline. And this goes right through him. And how about that to start a game? In the second, you see here from above, right since he's left-handed, he's got the third baseman playing well off the line. I, I don't know if this is exactly where he intended to hit the baseball, but it works out for him. Now a throw over to first. He's good. Runner back safely. Why not? Make him get dirty. Stepping in now, number five. As he'll hey. watch a knuckleball that dances its way in there for strike one. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty one darn one. good job against him in one this one. series. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Ah. And he takes a cold strike two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Left fielder, Steven. He, too, had three he's hits safe. in the win last night. And a dive, but he's back in there. Got a pretty good lead right there. Ball. And a ball, 1-0. Oh. Yeah, and coming right off of that strikeout, he's got to be thinking he should be ahead of this next guy. That's a tough Two way ball. to fall no behind. Play. Now he bounces a knuckleball up to the plate for a ball. And you go back to the call on that very first pitch, how important that was. Now instead of a 1-1 one one count, you're at 2-0 and oh with a really dangerous hitter up there. All even now, two and two. Lifted the other way out to left center. Wilson over to his right. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting four. Samuel Estrada will stand Samuel. in. And he is off to a dreadful start at the plate as he has not hit the ball well in April. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. 68 miles an hour. I mean, that's barely the speed limit. You don't see pitches that slow too often. Way outside. One and two. A runner on first with two away. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Barney Klein will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. That evens it up one and one. Chopped down the first baseline, but it's a foul ball, says the first base umpire. Chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. To oh, two balls inside. and two strikes now. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Well, some guys use the fastball to get to two strikes and then use something else to get you out. Not this guy. He works backwards here and winds up getting him with back-to-back -back fastballs in the end. David Park is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Wilson giving chase. He makes the running play. Two down. Batting seven. Catcher. Bernard Dowell. Bernard Dowell will stand in. Back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. Yeah. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Now a changeup in strike. on the hands that evens it at one and one. No two. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Aye. Two and two. Aye. 
And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Greg Trailer would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On now to the bottom of the second. The lookouts lead it one to nothing. Greg Trailer will dig in now. Off to a slow start, as you see there. Just barely over the 200 mark here in April. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. And he lays off for ball one. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Yeah, it's hard to look for a change up there, especially when a guy's got a good live fastball. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. And this is a nice job so far out of that number eight hole. Taking some pitches, trying to get on, leading off the inning. Tom Lee will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. And that misses for ball one. Now a move over to first. No, he's Don't want to forget about him. Keeping him close. And again a throw. Keeping particularly close tabs on him. Here comes the 1-0. Hops this one up. Just beyond the infield on the right side. Thacker has the best view of this one. So he'll take it for the first out. Greg Fryman will dig in here. He singled to open up the ball game. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Ball, and he won't out. bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Well, this is a good approach when you're facing a pitcher you're not too familiar with. So take a look at a few and see what he's got. And oh, look Three out balls. as he has to Watch hop right. out of the way of the fastball there. And he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. And this is going to work out for him. It's an infield single to make it first and second now. Well, much easier Number to do five. in retrospect, but you almost wonder if he would have been better served to let this ball go and see if it would have gone foul. There's no guarantees it would have, but that was always going to be a tough play anyway. Into the box, number five. Yes, ball he'll take a look high. at ball one. Ball, and 2-0 oh, as this one's taken low. He's in a situation now where he does ball, not want inside. this game to get away from him. Two guys on already. Now ah. he's not in the strike zone to this hitter. He's got to reel it back in. If he's flirting with a little bit of danger now with another ball. The count is full. Fastball three is taken two. for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Good battle. Count remains full. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. So stepping in, number eight, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Nope. And he lays off there, one and oh. All right, you're down two here. You've got the tying runs in scoring position with one out. This has to be a production. Samuel Estrada stands in with two on and two out here in the third. And he takes ball one. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Throw over to first. And he's back standing. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. All the way here to start the at-bat. 
and that's fine, but you can't be afraid to work inside. You can jam this guy, get him to roll over something. Meanwhile, this ball gets down, it's a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's now a 2-2 ball game. Barney Klein steps into the box and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home in the inning so far. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Two and one. Unable to get the bat around in time and the count evens at two and two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Scott is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll head now to the home half. David Park is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Fastball in there for a called strike. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Yep, same pitch. Right back to the inside part of the plate, and he gets caught looking at it again. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Bernard Dowell stands in. He's 0-for-1 after grounding out. Out in front of it, strike one. Oh, and he's really count. getting oh, the two. better of him now. It's strike two. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing oh, there. Inside. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Greg Trailer stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Clinton is there to make the catch and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Tom Lee heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Ball Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And I think that's what they were trying to set him up for. Going with that changeup down in the zone on a one and two count. Very difficult to react to, but he did a great job of holding back. Into the windup no and the pitch. Greg, Greg Freiman is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1 and 0. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to 1 and 1. Now he bounces a knuckleball up to the plate strike. for a ball. Line drive to center field, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Number five will Number dig in. Five. 0 for 1 here in this one. Now a throw over, yeah, the and they got him. Either. You could tell he didn't want to waste any time down there. He was getting set to go on that very first pitch, but they caught him leaning the wrong way, and he's picked off. First pitch Count fastball in on the fists for ball one. Two quick outs in the inning. Ouch, that one hit him. Well, with two outs and nobody on, the best way to make a team the pay for hitting you is to come around and score. Steven Let's see what they can do. Rutledge. Steven Rutledge is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Ah, uh, that thing's knee high on the outside third of the plate. Pretty understandable why he couldn't catch up with that one. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Leading off the inning, Samuel Estrada, and they'll need him to get something going here. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Fly ball, heading for the alley. 
Wilson on the move, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Now batting. Barney Klein will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 thus far. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as it is now an 8-4 to four ball game. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Smoked on the ground left side. And that's through for a hit. Bernard Dowell will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Now he bounces a knuckleball up to the plate for a ball. So after the strong Ball five inside. innings, things have not come as easily for him here in inning number six. Well, this is kind of the M.O. of this lineup. They have a way of just wearing you down. And they're starting to get into some better counts to hit. And that work's paying off. He's fallen behind now, three and one. We got now a, a fastball down. swung three, on and missed, and it's full three and two. Well, this is turning into a real dogfight now. Now time called here as the manager pops out of the first base dugout. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game award? Yeah, he was definitely a big part of this victory. You see there, four RBIs for him in the ball game. He came through when they needed him to, and he was instrumental in the win. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Final Show. Line.